Okay, so what is temperature compensation? And basically it's the uh, focus uh, compensating for changes in a critical focus zone in terms of the image being in focus uh, as the temperature drops at night time. And the metal tube of the telescope, uh, because of the uh, temperature, contracts or shortens um, and that changes the position of focus. So it's more critical for faster imaging scopes and long metal focuser tubes. Um, and there's also contraction of the actual focuser draw tube as well. Uh, so temperature compensation is the automatic adjustment of the focal pos position when changes in temperature occur. And that's normally handled within the focuser. It requires a temperature probe to measure the changes in temperature over time and the user needs to calculate a temperature coefficient value which equates to the number of steps to move the focuser uh, per one degree of temperature change so that the focuser remains in focus. So ASCOM supports temperature compensation and what are the methods and properties available in ASCOM? Well, there's TempComp which provides a means of setting temperature compensation on or off and it can also be queried to return the state of temperature compensation within the controller. There's temp comp available, which returns true if temperature compensation can be enabled or disabled uh, within the controller by using the temp comp property. There's also the temperature value, which returns the current focus at temperature. And when temp comp is on, move commands will be rejected by the focuser. So some observations about this. So temp comps meant to be used by a client to set the temperature compensation on or off or to get the state of temperature compensation in the controller. Temp comp available is meant to be used by a client to determine if the controller supports temperature compensation. And once a client turns on temperature compensation, the focuser will automatically maintain focus and a client must not issue a move command if the temperature compensation is enabled in the focus controller because the ESCOM driver should ignore the request. So, um, that raises a number of issues. How is temperature compensation meant to work? Well, this is how the MyFocus Pro 2 controller works. It starts up with temperature compensation disabled uh, that can be changed in the firmware, but we disable it because we can't assume the focuser is at correct focus. The client should query the controller when it is connected to see if temperature compensation is available by querying temp comp available. The client should provide a means of enabling and disabling temperature compensation. And if temperature compensation is enabled, then any user request to move focus position should be ignored. So what this is actually saying is that when a, when a user clicks uh, or changes the focus position in the client, the client should actually check to see whether or not temperature compensation is enabled. And if it is, ignore that request, unlike some clients. The client connects to the focuser, retrieves temp comp available, which is going to be true for a MyFocus Pro 2 controller, and retrieves temp comp, which is false, because the controller starts up with temperature compensation disabled. The client then does a focus auto focus uh, routine and reads the temperature. And once we're at focus, the client can enable to temperature compensation by setting temp comp to true, and the focuser does the rest. So what support have we got in Windows for temperature compensation? Well, we've got a means of s determining what the temperature compensation should be, and that's called the uh, temperature coefficient value. That's the change in st steps required for each degree. We can save that temperature coefficient value in the focuser, and it's remembered. We can query the temperature compensation state. Is it on? Is it off? And we can turn it on and turn it off as well. However, we must have a temperature probe 
and the firmware has to support the temperature probe by ensuring that the correct define statement is enabled in the firmware. The temperature timer is enabled for automatic updates at 10 second intervals. So as uh, the details in Windows, once we start temperature compensation, temperature timer will be set on and it will be set to 10 seconds. How do we actually go through the process of setting up temperature compensation in the Windows app? Once it's set up, then ASCOM will be set up as well. So we would normally do this in the Windows app first. So to do that, we're going to follow the wizard. And we're going to do this in actual practice in just a moment. In ASCOM, there are a number of uh, values on the extra settings page. There's temperature coefficient, which is the number of steps that the focus will move per one degree uh, to maintain focus. There's an ability to send that value to the focuser uh, when it connects. And there's the ability to enable or disable um, that temperature compensation when it connects. So you can have it connect if this checkbox here is ticked then it will mean that it's enabled when the ASCOM driver connects. On the left here, we see a typical client app. And in this app, there is the ability to enable or disable temperature compensation. And that's how it should be. And once, it, once this is checked and enabled, and temperature compensation is then turned on in the controller, if I clicked uh, any move command, that will automatically be ignored, which adheres to the ASCOM platform uh, requirements. Right, so let's go through the process of uh, setting up temperature compensation. So my focus is on COM5 and let's connect. And I want to make sure that uh, the temperature timer is running. So it's set to 10 seconds. And I know that um, temperature compensation is disabled and the coefficient zero, so that's fine. And um, I'm at 471. So let's just uh, go to, let's put a button off mask on the focuser and adjust the um, focus position so we're in focus and we'll do that now. Right here we are at focus position 5971 and let's start the temperature compensation by going down to temperature compensation start recording. We've focused the telescope and we are ready to begin. Are the applications ready to save the current uh, te position and temperature so yes we'll do that please wait till you're prompted to refocus uh, do not make any changes uh, click OK to continue and so what it's doing now is it's going to continue to read the uh, temperature of the temperature probe until it drops uh, three degrees So we'll just wait for that to happen. And it has. So uh, it says refocus the telescope. After refocus, click get uh, temp to refresh the temperature and then click continue get compensation, etc. So let's just refocus the telescope now. I've got 5876 and yeah, uh, temperature is this. So let's now continue with the temperature position, uh, temperature uh, compensation. Continue. So let's activate now. It's calculated 15 steps per degree. Let's uh, enable this and let's go close. And so it sent that information, the number of steps it automatically calculated, which is 15 steps per degree, and it's enabled it in the uh, controller and if I was to check the controller now 
get the status, etc. It says it's 15 degrees and it's enabled. If I was to do a move, um, it comes back and says moves are not permitted when temperature compensation is enabled. So it won't allow me to move the focuser at all while temperature compensation is enabled. And if I was to change the temperature compensation to be disabled, turn it off, uh, now when I do a move, you'll see it will move no problem at all. So that's temperature compensation with the Windows uh, application. And once you know those values, the 15 steps, etc., for this focuser, if you wanted to use the ESCOM driver, you would enter that information into the ESCOM driver um, and set that up that way. Here is our ESCOM app, and we can select our driver. My Focus a Pro 2 ESCOM, go into Properties, go into Settings. Now we know that it's 15 in terms of the temperature coefficient, so let's send that we, when we connect. Click close, click OK. Oh, sorry, connect. OK, connect. Oh, I needed to set up the COM port. So let's just go through the COM port. Go back to COM port. Connect. OK, connect. So it's connected. Settings, uh, check temperature compensation settings. It's uh, temperature compensation is on, it's enabled. It won't allow me to retrieve the uh, temperature coefficient value because there's no support in ASCOM to do this. So that's um, because we're talking to the ASCOM driver, um, we can't actually do that. But we can turn compensation on and off. So that's for example, we go back and we check now, uh, we can see that it's disabled. So each client which uses an ESCOM driver, if it wanted to implement temperature compensation, should provide a means of enabling or disabling the temperature compensation in the uh, controller via a mechanism like this. So that's how it's done in ESCOM. Okay, so we've got the ESCOM uh, client connected can see the temperature compensation is on and it's enabled so if we try to do a move like this you see this that's what it should say it should say that the focuser is in temperature compensation mode moves are not allowed so we shouldn't be able to move the focuser while it's in temperature compensation mode because the focuser is making those minute adjustments relative to temperature and we don't want to be able to stuff that up so it shouldn't move the focuser it shouldn't be able to move the focuser if temperature compensation is enabled if we disable it of course uh, then you can see where its focuser will quite happily move but if it is enabled then we don't want to be able to move it because it's under the control of the temperature compensation algorithm and the focuser. So that's it working with ESCOM.